why I can't go into this house with you. This man has a strong prayer life. This story is no longer on my level. I need to refer them to forces superior to me. I'll get back to you in a few days. But where were you so late at night? I looked all over the house for you after my prayer, but you were gone. Where were you? I was in the house. You didn't search well? No, I looked in every room in the house. You weren't there. Look, you did the wrong thing. Leave me alone. I'm going to bed. I am tired. I'm going to get help and I'm coming back to destroy everything. Who are you? I am taking over to help you achieve your goals so that I can dominate this man. You are going to have to give your kids. But I don't have children yet. I am talking about your future children. Okay. Within a few days, you can do what you want with this man. Yes, Mom. The creature assured me that after the work it is going to do, my husband will eat on my hand. She gave me something else to use and incantations to recite when he sleeps. Everything is explained. Oh hello mom, are you there? How long have you been here? I just arrived a few seconds ago. Oh okay mom. Hello mom. How are you doing? Good morning. What do you want to drink, mom? Do you want something to eat? No thanks my daughter. I was just stopping by to greet you. Oh okay. So mom, how are you? You've been here a long time. It's okay, my son and your day. It went well and yours. Very well. Well my son, I'm going to leave you alone, I'm going to go home. But first of all, we're going to pray. Is your wife going to join us for prayer? No, Mom, why am I going to tell you about it later? Let us pray. Lord, God, I bless you for your kindness. Lord, Jesus shouts my God, protect my son. I can't stay in this house. I need to get out. I need to get out. My son, I'm going to go, but come see me tomorrow. We need to talk tonight before we go to sleep. Don't forget to pray again. My son goes in prayer. Intense prayers because your life is in danger. Don't let yourself be distracted. These days remain in prayer. Yes, okay, mom, but you're not telling me everything. What is going on? I overheard a conversation between your wife and her mother and I understood that she is trying to hurt you, to sacrifice you. How? Yes, my son. I am sorry that's why you have to be very careful. Okay, mom, don't worry. May the Almighty Lord preserves you my son. Thank you, Mom, and may he accompany you. P. Wretches. Precious. But where's she? In fact, I am not even surprised at all. All these quirks, all these changes in his behavior. There are a lot of things. Oh, my darling. Mom is already gone. Yes. Where were you? I went for a walk outside. At this time of night. All right. Enough about me. Go freshen up. I cooked your favorite food. No thanks. I've already eaten, I'm not hungry anymore. Oh good. But at what time? Don't you want to eat my food anymore? Look, it's getting late. I'm going to take a shower and then rest. Okay, no problem. Tell me, don't you have anything to say to me? No. Why? What is this question? You know that God is above all power, whatever it is. And it's written in Galat 6, verse 7. Make no mistake about it, we are not mocking God. What a man sows, he also reaps. So stop what you are going to do right away because we are not laughing at God. 
I don't understand anything you're talking about. Are you sure you're okay? What did your mom say? Lord, my eternal God, you are a God of armies. He's been praying for hours and I can't operate. Everything I am doing is failing. I have to go out, I have to go out. But what is going on? Nothing works on everything you said to me. Nothing works. Calm down. We came in Legion and we are going to fight him at the end of tonight. Your husband will be finished. Yes, there are so many of us that he will not be able to resist. Look how we are all here for this fight and that's what you can see. We are multitudes. You see we came in numbers. Tonight we are going to make your husband give in. My Lord Jesus Christ, come and fight for me. Deliver me from my enemies. Johnny, what did you do? Look what's happening to me. I don't feel well. I'm taking you to the hospital. What is happening to me? Why me? How are you doing? It's not okay. I had a really bad night. I feel pain everywhere and my strength is giving up. I can feel it. Since you entered this hospital, I always tell you the same thing. Confess what you did. Confess. You will be free from all of this. If you don't, it may end badly. You must confess and ask forgiveness from our Lord, who is merciful. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven for a single sinner who repents than for 99 righteous people who do not need repentance. You know, it took me a long time to understand what was going on around me with you. Yet the Lord was putting the signs in front of me, but I chose to ignore them out of love. I am sad about what I have discovered, but I am a child of God and I have to fight for my life and for what is right. I don't blame you, it's not your fault because you didn't know that there is a supreme power above all others. Now, I repeat to you again, truly open your heart to Jesus Christ, who has borne the burdens of the world and who is calling you. There is still time. I am suffering. I know, but please confess what you did. I know that you put things in place to harm me. When I understood it, I was angry. But now, with lots of prayers, I tell you, I don't blame you anymore. Even though I am far from knowing everything you've done, I forgive you anyway. Now, it's up to you to move forward to the one who created you. Confess yourself. Doctor, what is going on? Um, I need to talk to your mom. What is going on, doctor? How is my daughter? Ma'am, despite all the treatments, the disease is progressing. There's nothing we can do anymore. My daughter, my daughter. What did I do? Mom, mom, I want to confess. Call my husband. I want to confess. Confess to you. What do you want to get out all our family secrets? Never. Already with the disaster that happened last time because of you, all the entities present have been overthrown. I too have suffered from this because I am accused of having handed over power to the wrong person. And come to think of it, I should have given it all to your cousin. Mom, it's not about me. I did everything as you told me. I experienced these inhuman creatures every day. I lied to my husband about it. It is not my fault. Mom, you lied to me. You did these things for several years without doing anything wrong and it didn't work for me. Why did you lie to me? I did not lie to you. I gave you all the secrets, all the techniques. But you've run into someone stronger, a true child of God. I'm still here because your dad was weak. He did not know God or prayer. So I got it very easily and then he agreed to follow me in this satanic science. He accepted all of the conditions and together we wreaked havoc on the family, around us, in the neighborhood, and even at his work. But make no mistake about it my daughter, I have suffered too and continue to suffer excruciatingly every day and every night. It's a heavy burden to carry. And despite the glitter, the makeup and all these artifacts, when I am alone, when these creatures come to see me, it's torture. 
She charges me every day for what she gives me and what they have given me. When I gave you the creature, the family talisman, it was also to rest because I am tired, tired of carrying these creatures, tired of seeing them. I've been doing this all my life and now I'm old. I want to rest. That's why I gave this to you because you were my daughter and you are young. And the creature also wanted a new body, a young body. But I didn't know I didn't know you were going to fall so soon. Fell, so soon mom. But so you knew it was going to end badly sooner or later? Yes, my daughter, it always ends badly and I knew it. But you don't have to tell us our secret, otherwise we're both finished and the whole group are finished. My daughter stays strong. We're going to make one last attempt. Mom, I don't have the strength anymore. But yes, if you want to. Well, I am proud of you well. Call your husband, tell him to come here right away. Tell him you want to confess. And then I know what we're going to do. Okay, Mom. Pick up your phone, but the speaker, I'll tell you what to say to him. Okay, Mom. Hello Donnie, can you come? Yes, right away. I'll be there in a little bit of 30 minutes. Sir, we're going to be late. We're not going to be in the hospital for at least two hours. There are traffic jams everywhere because of the car accident. I'm going to call my wife back to let her know, but the network is gone. How come about? You're laughing at me. You betrayed both of us. All my sisters have been slaughtered and you still dare to call me to trick me. Too bad for you. Sorry sir. Visiting hours have passed. Come back tomorrow morning. But I am her husband. Sorry sir. Sorry sir. Hello Danny. Hello mom, I want to confess, I want to say everything. I want to be free. So there it is. That is the whole story. I thought I was strong, powerful, with everything my mom said and gave me. But I did not know that God is above everything, that he is all powerful and that there is no power in the world above him. Because you know, we've called upon the most powerful creatures that exist, but they've all been defeated, defeated. I had dreams where I was told to give up, to leave you alone. But I did not listen. I even saw people telling me to leave you alone, to stop what I was doing. But I did not listen. I beg your forgiveness, sorry for everything. I forgive you. I forgive you my daughter for trying to kill my son. Thank you. Thank you. Mother and daughter died. Oh H precious. What was she looking for? I gave her everything, offered everything to her. She had everything. But she mistook my generosity for weakness. She thought that her talisman worked on me when it was just my generosity. Leaving like that because of greed? Oh, women. I am disappointed. I will not marry it again it is over. No my son, all women are not the same. God will send a woman for you. Pray to the Lord for that and don't give up. Question the will of God above all and for everything. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that a soul can be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.